I'm Tricia with Parkwell Artisan Studio, and I'm here to give you some instructions on the things you got in your art box this month. Um, the first one we're going to do is the uh, uh, yarn ball. Uh, this one's actually kind of fun, kind of simple. You can do all kinds of things, uh, uh, variations on it that'll make it really fun. Um, these make good Christmas gifts or birthday presents too, uh, and usually you'll have most of these supplies around your house. So you can do quite a few of them, do different sizes, roll the balloon up to different uh, amounts. So you have big bowls, smaller bowls, um, change the colors of the yarn, it's kind of fun. First thing we're going to do is blow up that balloon that you got in there. I want you to take a dish from home um, because I want it to be a little bit heavier. I don't like using these lightweight ones because the balloon kind of tends to flop around anyway. So if we've got a heavier one, it'll stay a little bit better. Um, so we're going to put, blow up our balloon put it in a nice heavy bowl like that. We are going to take the other bowl that you've got in your box and the glue that you've got in your box. And I don't think you need to dump the whole thing in there, but dump quite a bit in there. Um, you wanna, you're gonna be able to um, soak your uh, yarn in this glue. If you need a little bit more, you can always get a little bit more. So um, you don't maybe need to put the whole thing in there, but to start with, but uh, if you need more, there's always some in here. So we take the yarn, um, a few strands at a time. We don't want too many in there, they start to get tangled up. Um, and just kind of lay them down in your glue. I'm using two different colors. Um, pick out which ones you like. If you happen to have some other yarn laying around your house too, a little basket somewhere or string or anything um, that you think would be fun, you can use that too. You don't necessarily have to use just the stuff we put in your box. So we're gonna soak that Get that started soaking in our glue. Try not to tangle it up too, too much. Um, but you want to make sure that the glue is getting kind of all over your yarn. You want it to be very goopy. Um, there we go, that one, isn't it? Um, and get it on all of the pieces. Uh, so just kind of stir it around just a little bit. Or towel if you're wetting your fingers off because it gets messy. But we don't mind messy, do we? Um, oops. Then we simply take our balloon and we start taking pieces of yarn. See how I said they get kind of tangly? Add glue to a messy string mix. Not always easy. Pull off some of that glue. You don't need the whole loopy stuff on there. Just to make sure the whole thing is covered. And then it's as simple as this. We just start laying some yarn on our roll. I like to make sure the ends kind of touch another end, just so that when we're finished, we don't have all these little ends sticking out. So I, I take these ends and I kind of make them touch another string um, so that it, when it dries, it kind of ends up as a, a the whole thing kind of looks like a single piece of yarn. There aren't a bunch of ends sticking out. And you don't have to just use one color. You can use lots and lots of colors. You don't have to press this hard into the balloon. Um, it's got enough stickiness just to stay wherever you put it. Um, so you just lay it on there. Um, and this is the part where you can get creative. You can lay them kind of randomly all over, kind of like I'm doing. I'm just kind of letting it fall where it falls. Or you can have a pattern to it. You know, you can use one color uh, and that color maybe goes all around here, and then the next color goes in the next stripe. Um, or you can make all your strings go in a circular pattern all the way around the balloon um, so that it ends up looking a little bit more uniform. All right, so once we have all of the yarn on there that you want, I'm gonna do a little bit more later, but um, once you've got all your yarn that you want to have on your bowl and got it decorated the way you want, all you need to do is set this aside, let it dry. Um, once it dries, it takes about 24 or 48 hours to um, set up. Once that's done, I'll make sure you be patient. Let the thing really dry, okay? Uh, we don't want it to be um, tacky or soft at all before you do this. But once it's dry, take the balloon and just pop it. The balloon should separate pretty simply from the yarn that's left on here. Um, and it just pulls right apart and you've got your cool little bowl left. Uh, the next project we're going to work on is our little art canvas. Uh, all I've done first, I've taken my uh, ruler and my pencil 
and uh, I've drawn a line diagonally both ways. This way, this way. We don't have to be perfect about this. This is just a guide. It's all going to be covered up anyway. Uh, do one horizontally and then do one in half vertically so that we end up with a canvas that's broken into little pie shapes. And then each of these pie shapes um, we're going to fill with a different color. Uh, I've already pre-cut um, most of my colors. I just went through some magazines, um, just kind of uh, picked out, I don't know, uh, pages that have cool colors on them, and it could be something as simple as a piece of a page that's just a cool color, or um, like this one I thought was a really cool color, but they're blueberries. Uh, this one is a stack of coffee cups. I don't know, just fun little stuff. I think I can cut some flowers out to go with my pink colors. Um, <clears throat> once you've got all those kind of uh, picked out, um, just simply take uh, some of your um, colors and start playing them in where we have um, our lines drawn. Um, so one section is going to be blue, one section is going to be green, one section red, uh, and this is kind of like the background for what we're going to do. Uh, the glue stick doesn't work the best on the canvas, so uh, I want you to use what's left over from your yarn bowl uh, in your glue, and just kind of, what actually what I do is I fill in that whole section there, uh, and then just go ahead and place my colors right on top of that so I don't have to lay down blue a whole bunch of times. I like that blueberry one. I don't know why. I'm going to make sure that one gets on there. Got to cut a little edge off. They don't have to be exactly perfect on your lines. Um, we can make adjustments on that later. Uh, but if you stay close to the lines at least, uh, that will make your next step a little bit easier. But a little bit of overlap is perfectly fine. And I like to wrap it right around the edge there. Uh, once. Uh, I stick all my colors on here. I'm going to move on to the next step. So we're going to uh, take a little break here for a minute while I put my colors on there, uh, and then I will come back and show you how to do it. Right. Now that I have each of the little pie shapes filled with some of the colorful paper that I've cut out, um, the next step I'm going to go through here is putting the uh, uh, words on here that I've cut out uh, that either describe yourself or the name of the person uh, that you put in the center, which we're going to do last. Um, and I want you to line these up uh, along your cross lines, so between the colors. So um, leave a little space in the middle because we're going to put that spot in the middle there last. Um, you know, pick out maybe different colors that, that go um, pretty well with it uh, and just kind of line them up along that little edge there. Uh, so each one of your lines is covered by words. Uh, I kind of I kind of like to use these, the ones that have a white background, they show up just a little bit better. Um, you can use big, huge words, little tiny words, but see, even the colorful ones are kind of cool. This one's got a blue background, and so maybe I put that between the, the red and the green. Um, make kind of a striking difference between those ones. Uh, but I would pick out, um, I don't know, just some special words that you would like to put on there. Line them up along each of the lines between the colors. Glue those on. I'm going to do that part off camera. Then I've included a little more stiff piece of paper like this in your art box. And you can leave it square like this, or um, you can cut it into a, a circle or a diamond or whatever kind of shape you want. I think I'm just going to do mine as a circle. And then once I've got that, it's a pretty good circle shape. Uh, I'm going to take a marker. You can use a, a colored marker or a pen or a pencil, whatever interests you. I'm going to write on here. I'm going to write you are. You can decorate that too with a little bit of, um, I don't know, squirrels around the side or something like that. We're going to end up gluing that one right in the middle. Um, once I glue all these down, my piece will all be all finished, but make sure that you get all the, the pieces glued down. Once you have the, the canvas part covered, you can um, switch to your glue stick. It makes things a lot easier to, to glue those down. It's just that glue sticks don't stick perfectly to a canvas. So on the canvas part of it, use the regular glue you've got here. Uh, once you're finished, of course, make sure you sign your piece, maybe put a date on the back of it. Uh, and if uh, you are real happy with what you uh, 
make out of your projects today, make sure you send me some pictures of this cool stuff that you've done. Um, you can find us at parkvilleartstudio.com. Uh, you can contact us through there to send us those pictures. You can also uh, add on to your subscription to your art box uh, and let us know through there if you have any questions about the project. Now go out there, create some cool stuff.